What's going on today, guys? We're playing Far Lap Horse Racing Challenge. I work at the uh, Woodbine Racetrack. So, <laughs> this game uh, appealed to me since I, I watched a lot of horse racing, even growing up too, because my parents used to take me there. I don't really know what this game is. If you control the horse, is it a simulator? Is it like a betting simulator? Guess we're gonna find out. Right up there early is Showy Revenge. Nocturnal Rider is also in the run. At the 700 pole, it's Showy Revenge. Nocturnal Rider wants the front. Head and head with Tricky Dazzler. Destiny's Dream. Getting eager, trying to beat back Shining Cherub. Continuing around the track, it's Cash Harrible. Red midnight. Hold the R to keep running. Three okay. lengths away. It's Destiny's Dream. Cash Harrible holding the lead. Destiny's oh. Dream in fourth place. One length behind. It's Dream Dimple. Shining Cherub charging through. Tricky Dazzler is the front runner. Destiny's Dream oh. being ridden well. Get him on the outside. Need a sprint. In the stretch, it's Cash Harrible. Destiny's Dream burning stamina, pushing for position. Finishing on a high note. That's what the paper said of your grandfather's final victory. Oh, this and guy is so well Asian. Deserved. But I was there. Actually, I don't I, know the now. The reason he did it was for the thrill, the sport, and especially family. No, he's, he's Asian. Father was already <laughs> comfortable in his own saddle and making a name for himself but when your proud grandfather strolled from the stage leaving him alone in the sun oh he took off like an untamed wind kind of makes sense i feel like asian then, people must have made this game of course horse racing big in asia Oh no! You know how hard it was on the family. But your grandfather took it the hardest. For all his achievements, in the end, he considered himself a failure. I still believe in your family's legacy, despite everything. If you could, if you would be persuaded, please come back. I believe together we can return this homestead to the height of its glory days. Yours faithfully, Francis Kwan. Okay. One of the greatest things about horse racing is the horse's name. Some are very funny, some are very classy, and those are the, the, the better horses, but some are just ridiculous i remember there's a horse called bombaclat which is pretty funny because <laughs> i'm not sure but i feel like the owners of the horses may make money based on how many people bet on them or at least it keeps them in the race like say you put a horse you own a horse right and you um you enter them into a race and nobody bet on him <laughs> So that facility or like Woodbine would say, hey, you know what? Your horse is not really doing anything. It's kind of just there. So we're not going to allow your dude to race with us anymore. Therefore inhibiting his ability to make any money. Okay. Oh, I could change the colors. Nice. Black and pink. Now we'll go with this one. Oh, adorbs. <laughs> oh, I like that. Oh, I like this one. Okay, that was nice. Oh, you can change the hat color too. Wait a minute. Amazing. Oh, that's nice. Oh, now I want to change his clothes. Something to match that. This black, purple, 
That's that's close. Is it anything better? Well, that's not bad either. All right. We're going with that. Stables. Okay. This Francis Kwan guy seems very nice. Very nice looking. Okay. Stable manager. Ooh, okay. Now we get to buy a horse. All right. Uh, speed. I mean, the stats are very similar. Just one has more sprint energy and one has more acceleration. So in terms of horse racing, this guy would be like a... This guy would be more of a closer because he has more sprint energy. But this guy would come out of the gate faster. Let's, let's, let's go with this guy. The come from behind horse. <laughs> I mean, the numbers are only one off, so I feel like it's not that big of a difference. But we'll see. Pump lap. Looks like a real beaut. All right, I'll see you later, Francis. Okay. Goals. Buy a horse. Compete in a race. Let's race. Three oaks. Oh, okay. Your horse's preferences? Like, does he like carrots or hay more? Or like, <laughs> what kind of preferences? Ah. Okay, so he likes to be in the middle first. Yeah, that makes sense if he's a closer. Oh. Oh, that's it? Okay. Odds. 4.6 to 1. Or is it just 4.6 times your money? So if you bet a dollar, you get back 460. So basically you win 360. I think that's that's how that works. I do sell the uh, the wagering tickets for the horses, so. Not that I'm encouraging anyone to actually gamble. <laughs> okay. Oh. It's yeah. race on here at All right. Oaks. First out of the gates is Hamstick Language. Also running well is Plump Lap. Octagon Polish still in the lead. Neck and neck with Vixen's Traitor. Engaging oh. with Pocket Pocket. 600 to run. It's Vixen's Traitor. All right. Let's, let's get in the middle of the pack here. Forward. Nice. Use a sprint segment to reach your best pack Around position. The track, it's... Wait for the flash, then sprint again. Perfect rhythm. Leading the race, gambling princess in second position, followed by. Where's the rhythm? I don't get it. <laughs> Refill sprint faster on the pack position line. Okay. Okay, so you always want to be in this uh, highlighted area, I suppose. Is that what it's saying? I don't know. No, the, it's I think it's just following me. Okay. Let's go! Final stretch! Oh, no more sprint. Alright. I mean, in terms of gameplay, it's not it's not great, but it's more like a uh, simulator. It's more like a manager aspect of it. Um, I mean, there's a lot of oh. <laughs> Yeah, so there's a lot of games out there, um, drag racing car games that I saw, uh, apps-wise, where you build up your car and then you just drag race it, right? So the gameplay is not that much, but it's, it's about building up more than the, the actual gameplay itself, so. Normally I don't like games like that, but uh, because horse racing has been a part of my family in a way for so many years, because uh, my mom works at the racetrack too, so does my aunt, and now I do, so. <laughs> kind of like it. All right. Collect. I think it'd be great if you can name your own horse, though. <laughs> That'd be fun. 
then have the commentator just say anything that that you put in there <laughs> as a horse. Okay. Hi, I'm TJ. Hire me to training program back on track and training facilities. Okay. So he's a trainer. Train now. Oh, so he's faster. Nice. Okay. Cool. Let's go back to the market. Let's see. Let's see what else is there. Ah, so you can buy multiple horses and train multiple horses up. Nice. Hardware. Budget acceleration feed. Ah, so different food makes different parts of the horse better, I guess. <laughs> That's what it seems like. Like maybe the sprint feed is like Red Bull and I don't know. This is like a slow, deadly diet of protein or something. Just make them. <laughs> I have no idea. Full Fantasy. It's a nice name. Oh, new stock. Soul Secretary. Vampire's Calorie. <laughs> These are some awesome names. Oh, I had to pay money to reset. Oh, I should not have done that. Oh, budget grain. Budget sprint feed. Okay. So I guess you have to take care of your horses too. Like if they eat too much, you have to restock their food, which is it's kind of nice. It's a very uh, intensive game. Well, sorry, not intensive, but uh, encompassing, I'd say. Seems to have everything in there. We need to do some sprint energy training. Let's get to it. Okay. Let's go. Nice. Acceleration training. Okay. We can't train horses until they get more experience. Let's go race. All right. So how do I do that? Oh, there you go. Race. What's Homestead? This is like where they live, <laughs> maybe. Our facilities have earned a bit of cash on the side. Better come and collect it. Nice. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'd say it's very well done. It's very peaceful too. It, it It's almost everything that horse racing actually is. It's not too crazy. It's peaceful. They call it the, uh, the king's sport, I think it is, or the royal sport. Okay, let's do one more race here. Then maybe we'll go into some other modes. I think I saw some other modes in there. Ooh, 6,000. You, your favorites. Oh, I am the favorite this race. Okay. 2.5, I'm basically paying even money. I think at Woodbine, you would see that as five to two, for like five slash two. Sounds right to me. <laughs> I should know. Perfect start. Oh, there's seagulls. Intricate quest breaking in. Beast venture still pilots the field. Oh, he's taking the lead. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Is he normally like speed in the middle of the field? But I don't feel like I should stop. In second spot, Mott Hurricane getting past on their back. Endurance doesn't seem like a factor in this game. The most post recent games seem to have been. Endurance factor system, but this one just seems like it has a, a lot of sprint bars, so it's kind of the same thing, just on the other side of it. Pounding down the course, it's Plumlap. Beast Venture in second place, three lengths away. It's 
modern hurricane going hammer and tong with George Freeze. They run for home. Beast I don't know how to time these spins. There's a special second. rhythm to do it a bit. In third. Easy peasy. I think because I'm on the wagering side of uh, horse racing as well that I would like to see that you can make <laughs> more money wagering on the races or lose more money. I think that'd be kind of fun. <laughs> you could bet on yourself, but I don't know. Maybe that's a no-no. <laughs> I think in the real thing, that's a no-no too. Okay, let's see. Let's go out. Yes, quit. Quick race. Online race. Oh, betting. Oh, there you go. Oh, so you and your friends can bet. And then it's like, whoever gets the most coins wins. That's pretty cool. It's interesting. I mean, in casinos, they have... Oh, wait, can I do this all on one? Oh, I can. With one controller. That's strange. Okay. Let's add two. <laughs> Let's see. Confirm. All right. Number races three start. Okay. Check going medium. Okay, let's see if they have all the bet types in here. Like, win, play, show, exact retractors, like that'd be nuts. Uh, seems like I can only bet on one horse. Oh, this guy's, this guy seems Asian. I gotta... Uh, Oh, there you go. Exactor, okay. Let's see here. Choose the second horse in the Exactor. Almond Apology. Let's, let's try this. <laughs> 28! Dang. Okay. So now this guy is gonna bet. Uh, let's do this. Yeah, so so when this is uh, top two would be place, top three would be show. Exactor, track, factor. They don't have everything. They don't have like super factor, pick three, daily doubles, those, those kind of things, but uh, these are the main ones anyways. Pretty nice. Well, let's do a try. Can we do a box? A box means that the horse isn't coming in any order, which would be cool. Uh, I guess you can't do a box. No, it's straight. It's all straight bets. And you can only bet one thing? <laughs> okay, whatever. So yeah, maybe there's will be updates to this game in the future to have all the bet types and the variations and maybe able to bet multiple things in one race, not just one thing. <laughs> Still We're cool. underway here at Three Oaks. Dolphin River shows great speed. Nervous start there from the favorites. Dolphin River leading. Drama Canary in second, putting in a strong bid with Tropical Bassoon. Then Beat Nick Pistol, looking to make it from Dog Elements. Next, it's interesting Zephyr. 1100 meters to go, and it's Dolphin River. Drama Canary wants the front. A length behind, it's Tropical Bassoon. From interesting Zephyr. Dolphin River leading the charge. Drama Canary in second position. Two lengths away, it's Dog Elements. Battling with Tropical Bassoon. Just ahead of Interesting Zephyr. Dolphin River continues to show the way. Tropical Bassoon picks up the bit. Drama Canary next. Closely followed by Beat Nick Pistol. Dolphin River in first place. Dog Elements in second spot. Struggling with Drama Canary. Interesting Zephyr in fifth position. And then All right, Beat less than 500 Pistol. meters to go. It's getting close. This is a very long race, though. Drama Canary in second position. Dog Elements in. I can't remember who we took anymore. <laughs> we probably will win because the things we bet on it was very, very complicated. But it pays a lot if it comes in. He'll probably just tell me that I lost. It's okay. Wasn't the one horse the favorite though? 
interesting Zephyr in fourth position, tussling with Tropical Bassoon. Dolphin River delivers the final knock, just scoring from Drama Canary. Dog Elements gets the third place. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, the favorite came fourth. Hmm. Better, okay. Alright, so we lost <laughs> those bets. Next, okay. So now... Oh my god, these... These tracks are even longer? I might simulate this one. Okay, let's just make sure we win something. Uh, I'm gonna pick something very easy this time. Probably won't pay like anything, but we're gonna... Top three. <laughs> this horse to get into the top three. Oh, you can only move this by one? Some sort of bet slider would be nice too, I guess. It would take forever to get to 200, <laughs> I would think. Okay, and just in case, let's take the second favorite. I feel like one of these guys are gonna make the top three. They should. <laughs> bet amount, okay, what if we hold it? No, it still goes very slow. Oh, okay, now it's by tens. Okay, now it's by hundreds, whoa, okay. Okay, that's that's kind of useful. This kind of helps. Okay, let's not blow because we just three races. So now let's blow everything. Okay, we're gonna simulate this one since it's kind of long. I want to see what happens when we win. Is all. But maybe when we simulate, it won't do anything fancy. Wow, to simulate it takes it takes that long. <laughs> okay, so the favorite at least came in the top three, so I feel like Okay, so he bet one twelve plus one point seven. Okay, yeah, so because he was the favorite and you bet for him to go in the top three, which is fairly easy. You had to bet 112 to get back 157, meaning that he only really netted, what is that, 45? Yeah, so it's not it's not a lot, but it, it's like that, just because it's it's normally an easy kind of bet. I would say 45 is kind of generous <laughs> compared to uh, real real odds. Okay, so this is the last one. Oh, this guy is a huge favorite on top of everybody. The next closest guy is this guy. Okay, let's do this. I feel like this guy should win if this thing is kind of accurate. Okay. Let's try to do something complicated, but still somewhat easy. <laughs> this guy to win, and what's the next best guy to come second? Well, these guys are all the same. 10.2, okay. All right, okay, let's watch this one. <laughs> I mean, this game is still fun to have, like, your friends come over and you guys all betting against each other. You guys can do it for drinks, whatever. <laughs> the starter gets us underway here at Three Oaks. Doom's Delight takes the lead. The favorite gets a poor start. Useless bird. Doom's Delight piloting the field. Useless bird in second place. Okay, so it looks like the musical Fred notes Jones and the stars are the icons of the horses Raven's that we bet on, reaction. which is nice. A length away, it's platinum pony. Seem kind of remember it's who you hit. Five must Toe have been a favorite this one. Meaning we're looking for a uh, five two or five place. four finish for one of the guys to win. A length behind, it's fragile duty. Oh, is it? Okay, hold on. Oh no, that's the position. Okay, so we need number three. <laughs> Sorry, three eight or three two. Doom's delights controlling the race. Okay, where is this three horse? Once the front on their back is Raven's reaction. Oh, there you go. There he is. Okay, he's racing up to the front there. Aimless anecdote. Just in front of fragile duty. Just behind its dreadful benefit. I don't like how all the pennants are red. That's not accurate. Each color always represents a different number as well. A length behind its fragile duty. Aimless anecdote in fifth place. Then platinum pony. Raven's reaction in seventh spot, pushing hard in front of Dr. Lemon. 
useless bird, maintaining the lead. Doom's Delight in second position. Two lengths away, it's Aimless Anecdote. Dreadful Benefit in fourth position. Next, it's Fragile Duty. Going hammer and tongs with Platinum Hope. Come on, three. Raven's Reaction. <laughs> useless bird in the lead. Doom's Delight in second spot. Fragile Duty in third position. A length away, it's Aimless Anecdote. Platinum Pony next. Dr. Lemon in last spot. With 800 meters to go, it's Useless Bird. Alright, closing in at the end here. Let's see if this guy sprints to the finish. Oh, the six. Four lengths behind, it's Platinum Pony. 600 to race, it's Fragile Duty. Two lengths away, it's Doom's Delight. Platinum Pony in fifth spot, putting up a challenge to Raven's Reaction. Dr. Clement in seventh. Dreadful Benefits next. The race continues with Useless Bird. Fragile Duty wants the front. Platinum Pony in fifth place. One length behind, it's Raven. Come on, three horse. Useless Bird still in third. Oh, I don't think he's going to do anything. Fragile Duty scraping the paint off the rails. Oh. Platinum Pony traveling off the fence, sparring with Raven's reaction. Useless Bird. Five, five, six. Platinum Pony in sixth place. On their back is Dr. Levin. Useless Bird gets the money, just beating Fragile Duty. Third at the line, aimless anecdote. Interesting. I mean, based on the odds, I feel like this game is not accurate in terms of what actually happens. I mean, it obviously it's a small sample size, but normally when a horse is favored by that much, he normally at least comes in the top three. Uh, I don't know what the starting odds of the five was. But so far, this has happened twice where the, the biggest favorite didn't even finish in the top three, and that's normally a rare occurrence. It may happen. But I wouldn't say it, it would happen two out of three. <laughs> it may happen, you know, even let's say on a bad day, every other race, the favorite horse doesn't even finish the top three. But uh, I, I wouldn't say two out of three. It's it's normal. It's a normal thing. <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, yeah, this is Far Lap. Uh, it's it's a very beautiful game. I think that it's uh, if you're like if you're into horse racing, if you like the culture of it, then yeah, it's pretty good. All right, till next time. Bye bye.